This is my favorite kind of video to make. I'm at home. I can talk in full voice to the camera. I don't feel like I have to talk like this because I'm at work. But I can really talk and uh, kind of show you guys what we're up to. It's the Titan in the background. I haven't done any videos on it yet. There's a small stump in my driveway. And it's right behind where my wife backs up to drive every day. Today is the day I set fire to the small stump. Today we talk about stump removal. Yay. It's a thrilling subject. I'm going to set up the tripod, get some stuff going here, and uh, we're going to build a fire. Okay, so I didn't realize it would be so hard to see. Um, this is our stump. That's going to be super sideways. Uh, but anyways, that's it. I know it's gravel colored. But it's what we got. So, start out. Now luckily, there's a lot of compacted rock around here, so it'll be loads of fun to dig around. And I don't need to get super deep, but I need to get around it a little bit. Now, uh, at one point in time, this thing was actually bigger. I've been after it with the chainsaw once or twice. It's getting down slow, and I don't want to get a good chain in the gravel. And uh, I pushed on it with the tractor. It's, excuse the pun, pretty well rooted. And uh, as we are getting home from church today and didn't have a lot else planned, I thought, hey, let's dig this stump out. And by dig, I definitely mean set on fire. Now normally, if this were a big stump, I would take the opportunity to drill a bunch of holes in it and soak it in diesel fuel. We're not going to do that today. One, I don't have any diesel. And two, it's not a large stump, so we'll go from there. Now we're going to use two conflicting things today. We're going to use my chimney and some lighter fluid. We're going to use them for different things. First thing I'm going to do is soak lighter fluid into this particular piece of wood here. That's relatively well saturated. I'll come back and hit it again. And I'm going to pack this chimney up and get some charcoal started in it because I'm actually going to use my end of year charcoal and grilling stuff to get rid of that stump. So we're going to use stuff you've already probably got, I know I've already got, and we're going to burn that stump out. Okay, for those of you who don't know, a chimney is a way to start charcoal without using lighter fluid in case you didn't want to get the taste of lighter fluid in your food. Um, I find it to be a little bit more efficient. It gets me a good start on things. I don't normally fill it this full because I'm usually really concerned about airflow. However, I want the charcoal to be pretty hot by the time I put it out on the stump. Um, so, what I usually do is use old mail stuff like that now as fate would have it i kind of went through all my old mail and, and burned everything we keep a little box full of stuff that we an old trash can and we we burn it periodically um, i did that just the other day so i don't have a bunch of old stuff to burn right now but uh
What I do have is the paper towel from my kid's breakfast. So there's that. Let's try and get this thing going and get some charcoal started in the background here while this is going. I'm going to get this stump going. Um, it's important that I uh, mention that you're doing this at your own risk. Stumps have a tendency to have a huge amount of root system on them. I know you probably already know that if you're watching this, but there have been several cases where a root has smoldered for months. And people will come back later in the, uh, in the year, or even during the winter, they've talked about, oh, you no, know, last fall I burned out a huge stump, and uh, now I've got... A spot in my yard that's warm to the touch. It's where a root got up close to the uh, surface of the ground. And it won't let snow stay there. The snow will just melt right off because that uh, root was smoldering that whole time. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but if you're going to play with fire... Don't do anything stupid, uh, and if you do, don't blame it on me. So, there's that. It takes a little bit to get a chimney going. Like I said, I normally use just pieces of paper, but uh, once the bottom starts, it'll draw air through it, and it works kind of like a rocket stove. It pulls that air through it and uh, gets hotter faster than it would if it was just burning out is just a regular fire. <clears throat> now, what you're going to want to look for here, and you can see a couple places turn, is the little outcroppings or corners on these charcoal briquettes are going to turn white. Uh, white tipped is what they're going to be. So, when that happens, you're, you're in the right spot. It's getting real hot and we'll prepare to transfer stuff over. I'm going to put these hot poles down when they're ready and then I'm going to put a little more charcoal on top of it and it should burn really hot and allow that stump to be burned down to a point where I can cover it with gravel and uh, not have a huge issue. Alright, over here you can see by the darkening of the area, I've been, as we go, every little bit, it's still pretty dry, but it's soaking in. And that's what we want. We want this thing to burn way, way down. So we want it to be flammable at its very core. It's pretty dry out right now, um, as far as not like dry enough to cause forest fire or anything, uh, but dry enough that that's going to soak in. So... You can see kind of what we're dealing with, and we will, uh, you can see here, the charcoal, getting some white on it, it's getting good to go, so here pretty soon, once it's ready to sustain itself, we'll stack it all around this, and then cover the whole thing with charcoal, and then we'll just let it be for a long time. Now this is a project right here, this project, I want to be able to just walk away from it. And kind of keep an eye on it, but not uh, <clears throat> not have to babysit the dang thing all day as far as just stand next to it. So we're going to get a few more squirts here. And as uh, much as we can get out of that bottle, because I'm not going to use it again. Um, I had it for a project and it didn't really work out for me, so we'll do that. And then we're just going to pour these coals over it. smoke there is just the coals trying to catch back up with where they were. I'm going to save some charcoal here for uh, later. It's hot.
that'll be that. <clears throat> so this thing will kick off as it keeps going. You can see the smoke coming up as it tries to catch everything else and tries to catch lighter fluid. I wouldn't be surprised if it kind of went thoop here in a little while. Uh, I'm going to bring the camera in and charge it, so I probably won't see that. Anyways, I'm going to bring the charcoal over out of the way, kind of get the rest of this mess cleaned up, so all I've got to deal with is that uh, that you see before you. I do want to point out, <clears throat> this is a Weber brand chimney. It's the best I've ever owned. I think it's a Weber brand. Anyways, it doesn't have the metal or the wooden insert. It's got a plastic one, and it has worked really, really nice. I've been through like four of these one every couple years and this one has lasted a couple years by itself held up good uh, I like it America I'll come back when we've got some progress so I found a little bit of extra lighter fluid just want to let you know that we are off and running in the right direction so hopefully tomorrow there won't be a stump there I'm gonna check on the fire here in a minute but first my boy's tadpole collection. Some of these tadpoles in here. Big ones. They have legs on them. I'm not going to catch any today with this camera in my hand, I don't think. But, anyways, lots of tadpoles. This actually works off the, uh, the metal roof on our house. It has a small drip off the gutter. And we uh, let it drip into there. We gather water from condensation that way, and this thing stays full, and the dog, cats, everything else gets water out of it, and we use it to water the plants. So it works pretty sweet. The real reason we're out here. is that. thing is getting stupid hot. Burn it. Get some of these coals in there. By the way, this shovel, I break, until I got this thing, it's a Fiskars, it's all metal, um, until I got this thing, I went through a shovel like every, I don't know, three to six months, and I uh, <laughs> had to replace one since I bought this. It's heavy, and uh, I love it. Thank you, wife, for making me buy it. But anyways, super hot. Super hot. So, there we are. It's raining. I have a bucket. We're going to get rained out, but we're going to take this bucket and chuck it over that and try and leave some room and not get everything super wet, and it's going to be awful. And the camera angles are going to suck. And this was a planter about three minutes ago, and I'm going to get wet. And yeah. Alright, so that fire is going to suffocate if we don't prop that up. It might suffocate anyways. But it does. I'm burning out that stump. The fire may put it in there though. <laughs> Probably not enough ventilation. But hey, we tried, right? Rain seems to have stopped. Let's see what we got here. It's warm. 
it's smoking. It's a good sign. I'm gonna put some more charcoal on it. I'm gonna move a car and put some more charcoal on it. And uh, we are maybe I don't know, four hours into this process. And get an idea what's going on with the stump while we're in there. All right, so we got some stump that is ash. Can't tell, but we've actually burned this thing down pretty far. Throw some more charcoal. This is uh, cheap charcoal. Just throw the last of it on top of here. That's really hot. I'm stupid. raining again. I'm not trying to fit. It's raining too hard for me to film me going out and putting that metal thing back over the uh, fire, but I'm going to go do it without filming it. So so there's some runoff going down to the fire uh, because the rain just keeps getting harder and harder. It's pretty much out. Um, we did burn about two inches, maybe a little more off that stump. I was hoping to get down to as far as we had dug out, but it's just not going to happen today, guys. Thanks for watching watching with me. I hope you learned something from it. I yeah, hope I can put my hand over the camera some more. Um, so this is it. This is uh, basically how to burn out a stump. If this were a bigger stump, we'd drill holes in it and soak it with diesel fuel. Uh, it's not a bigger stump. It really wasn't any use for it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Boots, not suits. Because blue collar is the only thing I know, actually. Um, yeah, we don't fix hearts or helicopters. Uh, have a blessed day and a blessed week as you go back into your next week. I'm going to talk to you later, and thanks for watching.